killing me right now, dude. Oh. But you got, you got a snake in your hand, man. What kind of snake is that? I got a snake. A okay. snake. It's a real snake. Now, um... <laughs> <laughs> this thing is cool as shit. I ain't even gonna lie. Sure. What kind of snake is it? She is... She's a Colombian red tail boa. With a bunch of crazy jeans in her. How many pairs of jeans does she have? At least one pair for every day of the week. Wow. That's more pair than She's I have. She's got a lot of jeans. That's more than I have in my closet, to be honest. So, what kind of markings are those? Alright, so basically... She's a hypo jungle. Which means the hypo is hypo melanist. I feel like we should do it tomorrow. Oh. I can't. What's going on, everybody? Sorry, I gotta keep it quiet. It's about four in the morning. I just got done editing. But I decided I'm gonna do a snake vlog, so why not do it now? Um, it's a Colombian red tail bow right here. And she got a lot of jeans. I'm gonna tell wow. you about the jeans. Um, she's about like three or four months old. 26 inches, 133 grams. She's got a hypo jungle. Het Sharp Albino VPI Positive Colombian Red Tail Boa. So what does that mean? That's just a bunch of so letters. So hypomelanistic means she lacks pigments, especially dark pigments. So that's where you're going to get these really lighter colors. Um, the VPI T Positive just basically gives her the brighter reds, pinks, and browns and everything. So Here, what do I put She actually, she looks like she's going to shed soon. Put it next to the light so we can see her. She looks like she's gonna shed soon, so we'll do a nice. We'll do a review on the shed, and she's she. The guy that I got her from said she's eating every 11 days, so he said she was scheduled to eat actually tomorrow. So tomorrow we're gonna try to feed her, see what we can come up with. Cut. All right, so she also has jungle in her, which is a pattern mutation. So if you see some of her her saddles are actually blended together. Um, you can see coming off her neck, there's a stripe that connects it to the first saddle. Um, just really regular patterns. No two jungle bows are going to look the same. Wow, it's like really um, shiny. They also say the jungle trait gives it a nice clean background, so that's why you don't really see much speckling. And just her pink, her just pink tone is just amazing from that VPIT positive. Um, she's also heterozygous for sharp albino, which is just a strain for albino boas. So if she was to be bred with another heterozygous sharp albino, they could produce albino babies. Okay, so that's about it. That's about all I have to say right now for the... Everyone tune in tomorrow. We're going to try to feed her for the first time, see what happens. She looks like she'll be shedding soon, so we're going to definitely do a review on that. And I also got a couple other snakes that I'm going to be doing reviews on in the near future. So don't forget to subscribe to Third Eye Visions Productions. And uh, and any, she needs a name actually too. So uh, give me some comments. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think I should name her. Kind of want to give her a name that resembles her color. So definitely let let me know what you think. Maybe I'll choose one of your comments to be. Stop moving her so much. I want to get the new snakey's name. Wow, Sneaky's cool looking. Everyone, make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what you think I should name her. I think Slither, little snake, will go over. I'm so Slither.